Hey guys, Ivan here and welcome to another video. In this video we have a couple of very, very interesting topics, but we are starting with Andrew Jacked. So, Andrew Jacked, at this point, at 6 weeks out of Alon Classic, found a new coach. Or, should I say, he found another coach. He will still be working with George Farah, but George Farah is only gonna be doing his diet. As far as training, another coach is going to be in charge of that, let's say, a trainer. And that is gonna be Chris Psycho Lewis. And I think this is a real game changer for Andrew Jack because I think in this point in his career and in this many weeks out of Arnold Classic, I think a trainer, somebody who is really gonna push him in the gym and show him how to properly train, especially that back and those hamstrings, I think that is going to help him more. And I think because of this, he can actually win the Arnold Classic. Before I tell you my opinion on why do I think this is actually a game changer, let me show you where I actually got this information from. I have some insight into, you know, obviously George is doing good with his diet, but I got a word from Chris Cycle Lewis. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but it's too late. Chris Cycle Lewis is going to be training Andrew Jack for the next six weeks or five weeks, whatever it is, for the uh, Arnold. So yeah, as you just saw on RX Muscle, Dave Palombo spilled the beans. Uh, he was told this by Chris Cycle Lewis himself. So guys, if you remember, I, I used to watch, I used to love this training series with Sean Roden when he was preparing to win 2018 Mr. Olympia. He was training with Stanimal and he was trained by this guy, Chris Cycle Lewis. Chris Psycho Lewis was a student of Charles Glass. He was working under Charles for many years, but eventually he decided to start doing his own thing because he was more old school and Charles was more about angles. And this worked better for Sean Roden. And if you guys watch this series, these guys were training really, really hard and it paid off in the end. Obviously, Sean Roden won the Mr. Olympia and he looked better than ever. And I think this training, this hardcore training, was a major factor in this outcome. Sure, Chris Asito was doing his diet, and of course, that is very important, that's crucial, but if you're not training super hard, how much are you really maxing out your physique? And this year, 2018, I'm sure Sean Roden was maxed out completely training-wise. And if his diet and his supplements were on point as well, and his rest, of course, then he truly maxed his potential out. And I think the same thing is going to happen with Andrew Jack. Now, of course, there isn't a lot of time. Unfortunately, there is only like six weeks left, so I don't know how much can they do in such a short time, but I'm sure he will look better than he would look if he trained alone. Now, as you guys know, Andrew's weaknesses are his back and his hamstrings. Now, is that because of George Farah's diet? <laughs> of course not. It's probably genetic, mainly, but I'm sure with proper and really hard training, this can be changed at least a little bit. This can be improved. And so if Andrew Jacked doesn't have brohitis this year at the Arnold Classic like he did at the Mr. Olympia and he really peaks properly like he did at Texas that I'm showing you right here and if his conditioning is tiny bit better and if he improves the thickness of that back and maybe improves his hamstrings a little bit then he can absolutely win the Arnold Classic. Now this guy, everybody says from the Mr. Olympia that in backstage he looked bigger than everybody, that he dwarfed all of these guys. And you could have seen that at press conference, you can see it on stage as well, like this guy is a proper freak. The reason why he didn't place higher at the Mr. Olympia, and I think he should have placed a little bit higher, but the reason is that back and those hamstrings. So if he can get that a little bit better, and if his conditioning is a little bit improved, and he peaks the way he did at Texas, then I can see him beating Nick Walker, beating Samson Dauda, and winning the Arnold Classic. That's the way I see it, guys. If you guys disagree with me, you don't think this is a major change, you don't think this is going to help Andrew Jack a lot, you can tell me that down below in the comment section, but in my opinion, this is going to be a big deal. I want to show you guys this amazing tasting protein powder, old school abs vintage brown flavor, 
tiramisu. Now, this basically tastes like a Nest coffee. If you guys enjoy a Nest coffee, this tastes exactly like it, but it's actually protein powder. And once again, it's not just whey isolate, it's also beef isolate, egg white isolate, and whey isolate protein. So it's basically a complete meal. I basically take it when I'm too lazy to eat. Now, if you guys want to support me and my channel, then this is the way to do it, trying out one of the old school apps products, the link is down below in the description, and if you use the code EVAN, you get a 15% discount, and again guys, you help me as well, so thank you. Alright, next we have another Arnold Classic competitor, and this guy actually might surprise us, I think lately he has been kind of under the radar, he was really inactive on social media, he hasn't been posting anything uh, during his preparation for the Mr. Olympia, the last time we saw him on stage before the Mr. Olympia was Tampa Pro, where he went against Kamal El Gargni, now Kamal was very good, like that was a really good Kamal, he was really conditioned, and Kamal is doing the Arnold Classic this year, but at that show, Hakim wasn't really shredded, and everybody who was there, and I know some people that I follow on, on, on social media, they say that he wasn't really in good shape, he was in much better shape before, for example, that one year, I think it was 2020, when he was really on, and he was sixth at the Mr. Olympia, guys, so when this guy is really on, which is almost never, it rarely ever happens, I think they figured, it seemed like they figured out the conditioning that one year, 2020, I believe, and he was actually in decent conditioning for those two shows, the show that he did to qualify for the Mr. Olympia and the Mr. Olympia, but other than that, we haven't really seen him peeled, and for some reason, he hasn't really been posting anything, prior to that Tampa Pro, we didn't even know if he's gonna, how he's gonna look, we had no idea, we didn't know anything about this guy, this guy is like a, a shadow of modern bodybuilding, like Dorian Yates used to be back in the day, but he doesn't come and win the Mr. Olympia like Dorian, but he does win some smaller shows, like Tampa, however, at the Mr. Olympia, I don't think he was, I don't think he even placed, I think he was like number 16, like so many other guys, so I think, I feel, feel like he's going to improve for the Iron Classic, because he's posting a lot of stuff, for some reason, he's posting a lot of stuff, and right now, at 6 weeks out, his conditioning is great for 6 weeks out, if he continues pushing it, if he really tries to get shredded, he can be really lean, and this guy, he's really massive, I think he's the only guy that can rival Nick Walker in terms of muscle, in terms of mass, and I think he can challenge him with arms, I think he's definitely the only guy that has freaky arms, freaky biceps like this. The problem with the Kim Williams is his back. His back is not very good, but he also posted a video in which he's practicing posing with a posing coach. And I'm really glad that this is happening, not only with Akim, but other guys are realizing how important posing actually is. Also, Ian Valier realized that the reason why he plays so low, and the reason why he didn't progress on Mr. Olympia stage, uh, he actually placed lower than the last two years, was one of the reasons, aside from being flat, was his horrible posing. So Ian is aware that he needs to change his posing, and as you can see, apparently, so is Akeem, I just hope this is not like a one-time thing, that he's actually gonna have a posing coach that is going to help him, you know, pose his back better, because if he learns how to pose, how to present it properly, it can definitely look better than it actually is, it's not a great back, those lats are super high inserted, but if he can tweak a couple of things, it can definitely look much better, and also, if he learns how to pose with his back better than he did before, I'm sure his mind-to-muscle connection with his back is going to improve, and there is a possibility of him improving his back, look at it now, when this guy uh, corrected it, he looks much better, right? And the other thing to make his back look better, of course, is conditioning, now I'm showing you this photo, I believe this was before that Mr. Olympia in the hotel room, where he was really shredded, like the only time that he was really lean, and as you can see, his back doesn't look that horrible when he is peeled, of course, you can see that, like, he has really high lats, uh, this back reminds me of Big Ramy's back from the Mr. Olympia this year, so he's not gonna be beating anybody in the back department, but he has freaky shoulders, freaky arms, freaky lower body, glutes and hamstrings, and if he's peeled, and if he improves his posing a little, this guy can really be like a big surprise, I can see him placing as high as top 2, I can see that, if you guys disagree, again, tell me down below, but I can see him beating a lot of guys and potentially placing top two if everything goes well for him. 
We also got this physique update of Michal Krizo in the off season, and right now he looks crazy man he looks so freaking full so freaking big and i think it's been a while since michael Krizo had a proper off season where he really wanted to improve his physique because for the past i don't know like five years he was dominating ifbb elite pro because he really had no competition he was so far ahead of everybody else it was all about coming in decent conditioning and that was it he really didn't have to improve on his physique but now when he placed 12th at the mr olympia he has 11 guys to beat so i'm sure this is motivation enough to keep him training really hard to keep him focused to keep him actually hungry and wanting to improve on his physique of course if he wants to compete at the mr olympia again he needs to qualify again which means he won't have a lot of time in the off season like he won't have a long off season like those top five guys most of those top five guys as you guys know nick walker is doing the Arnold classic uh, some of the other guys are not as for now maybe Derek lansler jumps in maybe somebody else as well we don't know yet but if michael krizio continues making improvements on his physique during this off season and right now he looks really freaky if he continues getting better you know guys i used to see him being like potentially even top six at the mr olympia uh, prior to mr olympia 2022 and now again if he makes improvements i can see him again i can see him cracking the top six at the mr olympia because this guy is so freaky if he makes some improvements that's going to be ridiculous <laughs> i can't wait to see him on stage again as i said he can't afford a long off season to make some crazy big changes but with his genetics and considering the fact that he probably wasn't trying super hard to improve in the past couple of years i think he has more than enough time to actually make some serious changes and to improve enough to potentially crack the top six to mr olympia anyways guys that's gonna do it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this guys please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching all the best guys and bye bye